Hi, welcome back to Odo 16 development tutorials. In this video, let us discuss about model fields in Odo 16. Odo supports several fields for better data handling with specific options for each type. The fields can be categorized into three types, simple type, relation type, and functional type. Simple types are integer, character, float, etc. Relation types represent the relation between object like many to one, one to many, and many to many. In the case of functional fields, they are not stored in the database. They are calculated in real time based on other fields of the view. Now let's check some major field types in Odo. First of all, we need to import the package fields. Here I have imported the package fields as you can see like this from Odo import fields. So I have a model defined here tips.tricks and also some fields defined here. I have already created a view for this model like this and the fields are defined as attributes in model class now first of all let's check the character type field it stores string or characters in the ui as you can see this name field is a character type field here we can store a character type value the next type of field is integer type field as its name suggests, it stores integer type values. It does not support null value. If there is no value, it will return a zero. So as you can see, this field here, that is number, which is an integer type field. Here we can store an integer value. Now it doesn't have a value inside this field number. So it returns a zero. If I give any number, we can save any integer inside this field. The next field type is float type. Float is used to store decimal values. In this field, which is a float number, here we can save float type values. And the next uh, field type is binary. Binary type fields are used to store base64 encoded files. In the UI, the document field this is the binary field we have defined. We can upload a file from our local system to Odo by using the binary field. As you can see here is an image field. It's an extended version of the binary field. From here also we can import files from our local system to Odo. And the image field can be defined like this. The next type of field is a boolean type field. Boolean type fields are returning true or false values. Here, this field true boolean and from here we can check or uncheck this box. So checking this box means uh, the value for the field true is true and if we are unchecking this boolean field here, the value will be false. The next type field is date. So as its name says, uh, it's a date field and it stores date values. From here in this field, we can select date, a particular date inside the field date. And as you can see, here is a field date time. The type of this field is date time. Date time field can be defined like this. So in the case of date time field, it stores a date value along with a time value. Like this we can define or we can give value to the date time field. The next type of field is a selection field. It can be used to store a value inside a field from number of options. In this field I have given two options yes and no. Let's go to the interface. We can select a particular option we have defined uh, in the backend and save the value. Now let's take the case of relation fields. First one is many to one field. It associates the particular record or object of the current model with another object via this particular field. So here I have defined a many to one field like this. So here we will give the relation model like this in the many to one field. 
in the UI, this is the many to one field I have given. We can select a particular record from the product dot product model inside the current record of the model tips dot tricks. Now let's check what is a many to many field. It stores multiple records of the relation table we specify here. In the case of many to one field, we could only select one record in the product field. In the case of many to many field, this is the many to many field we have defined in the model class. And in the many to many field, we can select multiple records inside the field. Now let's move to one to many field. The value of such field is the record set of all records in com model name such that the field inverse name is equal to current record. The com model name will be defined like this and the inverse name will be specified like this. In almost all cases, the com model name and the inverse name is mandatory. Here I have given this tips tricks line IDs field inside the model tips dot tricks and in relation to the model tips dot tricks dot line. The inverse name we specify here which is tips id is a field in the model in the core model that is tips tricks line tips dot tricks dot line uh, we can see the field tips id here in the ui we can create records inside the tips dot tricks dot line from here in relation with the particular current object of tips dot tricks Next field type is monetary. Monetary fields are basically used to store price or cost information. It returns a float value along with currency field. So for the currency, we need to define the currency ID field in relation with the rest.currency table in the same model. In the UI, there is a monetary field here price. Now it is returning a float value. I haven't selected any currency from the currency field. If I select a currency here, we can see a currency symbol adding upon the float value. So this is the case of monetary field. And these are some of the major field types in Odo. I hope this video was helpful.